I can tell you what I know. Number one, if there is an FBI informant or any sort of inappropriate action that's been taken targeting a political campaign, the presidents or any, we want to know about it and it should be punished. As far as what I have seen to date, it appears that hey, there was an investigation Frank. not of the campaign, but hey, of Frank Levi. Be Pretty good, man. Last time I spoke with you, you told me come out there. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I know. That was the strange thing. Yeah, I was just following your direction. Well, no, I didn't give you directions. Just walk in and walk into the studio. Oh, you, you. You didn't do that. Oh, oh, you had said, um, you had said you ought to come out and see how it works. Exactly. Well, you walk in the door and talk to somebody who's not walking right in with a camera and taking pictures and stuff and putting Rob on the air. That's not the right thing to do. Oh, it, well, how did Elizabeth get in the studio? We invited her. Oh, why is that? She's 93 years old. Ah. So you got to be 93 to be invited? Now, see, <laughs> were you ever in politics? This is exactly what politicians do. You know, she's in here and you're not. The way you, she, she came in and she was invited. She sat down right there by the, by the uh, check-in and everything, and she did exactly what had to be done. Her and her friends. You walked right in, bogarted right past everybody, right into the studio. You can't do that, right? How do you know? Well, you did it, but it's the wrong thing to do. How do you know I did that? I was told the whole thing by at least five people. Well, you know, it could have been worse, Frank. Huh? Could have been worse. Well, why? Why should it be worse? Who's your problem with here? Is it with the people on Sunday? Why do you say that? I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Why do you, why do you bring up people on Sunday, I though? Wanted, I wanted to... I understand that you had a problem with people on Sunday. Well, what, what is that all about? Because I don't have a problem with people on Sunday. Are you sure? Well, it seems that they had a problem with you. Oh, well, that's too bad. I hope they get better. Alright, do you want to, you want to talk to the guy? Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to. Yep. Thank you. This afternoon, why don't you kick us off this uh, uh, th this week in, in executive session? What do you got? All right, I'm up. Yeah, I was hoping to be able to put have some input into the last conversation on you know all the data collection and everything. Uh huh. But we'll, we'll go ahead and. How do you mean? Uh, which which data collection are you talking about? I believe the conversation was framed as being around privacy. But what you're really dealing with is a consolidation of power when you have this mass of data collection that a few people have access to. Yeah, it's interesting because, uh, because uh, I mean, uh, 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 it's... It, there, there comes a point, I think, and I think that you, I think it's what you're, uh, I think it's what you're, uh, you're pointing at, where uh, information uh, becomes, could be, can become a weapon if it's used. It is. It's been a weapon. Yeah, and that's and that I think is the issue that we're having with the Russians right now. That's bogus. It is. Yeah. Well, it's all flipped and twisted, so mangled that you know it looks the same. You know, but this, how can you say you know how can you say that the, that the pedophile Trump is a friend of the Russians and at the same time he's using, you know, here's the Russians to get, uh, at the same time he's going to war with the Russians. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, first off, I'm not prepared to, uh, I'm not prepared to entertain your, uh, your characterization, uh, which okay. you've made before, but, you All know, right. that's it, that's okay, uh, I understand, I, I, I think that I understand where you're coming from. Um, on, really. one of the, uh, one of the best covers that you can possibly have for cooperation is to appear to be slightly at odds. I mean, you know, we're having a little fight here. Uh, 
but I don't. Then what makes you? What makes you think that the Russian? What makes you think we're at war with the Russians at this point? Before you, okay, please don't hang up. Huh? The, the I live here. The situation in Syria, <laughs> it, you know, it's it, 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 it being, uh, the story goes that Bashar al-Assad is, is being armed by Russia. Mm-hmm. Now, there's no disputing that the people that call themselves Israel would love to get rid of that, that person. Mm. And there's no disputing that the guy that, that you characterize as a president is on their side. I mean, you can you can put two and two together. Well, there's, a, there's also no doubt. There's also no disputing that we're we're supplying Israel with the weapons that they're that they're using. Well, never mind. Do, do you believe that, that he's at odds with the FBI since you brought that up? I. You know what? I I believe that he is, and I think it's out of his choice. I think that he oh. is trying very very hard to characterize something that is actually standard operating procedure for counterintelligence investigations. It's standard, all right. It's more than just standard. It, you know, it's universally accepted. Yes, confidential informants are universally accepted across. I mean, a tremendous amount of investigation hinges on the uh, on the work product of contra- of, of uh, confidential informants. <laughs> Well, how would a criminal like this person uh, become so wealthy if he wasn't being protected by the FBI? You know what? He that's a very, very interesting. Con- that's a very, very interesting question. Uh, our, our, uh, it's an exercise. So does that? Wait a minute. Let, let me ask you a question. Does that? Uh, does that? Co- does that also? Yes, sir. Does that also go to people like the Koch brothers? And the and well, the and uh, the scapegoat. They chose the role to be the face of the scapegoat. Industrialist. Really? Stay, because because scapegoats don't step forward. Innocent brother. They're not innocent. Okay. The guy he he likes ballerina. I mean, you, you can you can do you can you can work something in there too. Okay. Uh, but the same. But at the same time, they're not the only ones playing the, the role. You know, it's like um, Trump's buddy Epstein. He's not the only one involved in the pedophilia ring either. Okay. Either. Now we are definitely headed for the weeds at this point. <laughs> it's an exercise. This is a conditioning process to get people to trust in the corrupt institution. Uh huh. Well, I'll tell you what, Levi. Good well, I hope you guys can save this on your archive. Not delete it. I'll tell you something. Oh, well, well, that's uh, listen. Thank you, yes, sir. Thank you yes, sir. for the segue. Thank, thank you for the segue. I said hello too. Thank, thank you. you. She's right there. She said thank you. How's it going? Hey, bye. Right. Uh, well, listen. Thanks for.